We're used to seeing political races dominated by Republican and Democratic candidates, and usually there's a few third party candidates on the ballot too. Well, the field is getting bigger. Pennsylvania has a new political party and it's running candidates for both the governor and U.S. Senate this November, Royce. KDK political editor John Delano has more on the new Keystone Party. Move over, Democrats. Step aside, Republicans. The Keystone Party wants to take your place in governing this state. All the political parties out there today, they very rarely talk about real solutions to problems. The solutions that everyday Pennsylvanians are, are already on board with. Gus Tatlas, chair of the Keystone Party, says the views of many Pennsylvanians cannot be reflected by only two parties. Is it reasonable to think that only two major parties could actually represent the voices of all those people? No, it's ridiculous. So when we're out on the street and we're collecting those petitions, and in some areas, all you have to say is, we're a third party, and they sign the petition and don't even ask you any questions about your party because they want another voice. They want another choice. He says the two major parties seem beholden to their most extreme members and apply litmus tests on the issues. The major problem with the Republican and the Democratic parties is they choose to build their base on divisive rhetoric. They take the most sensitive issues, the most um, the most complicated issues, and they draw a line in the sand in their party. In contrast, says Talis, the Keystone Party is into solving problems. As itemized on their website, specific solutions on issues like governmental reform, fair elections, social and criminal justice reform, individual rights, and taxation. I consider us as a more of a coalition of independents. If you are looking for an alternative to Mehmet Oz and John Fetterman, or to Doug Mastriano and Josh Shapiro, the Keystone Party does have candidates running for governor and senator. I'll have more about that, new at six. John Delano, KDKA News.